top 10 uh, most fun characters to play with. And of course, you guys probably guessed this, but Joker is on my spot number 10. Joker is really good at combos, they're really satisfying to pull off. He has a great move set for punishing or just like playing around. to make the uh, CPU shield. Oh, you know what? I have an idea. Here, let's go up and go to control. Alright, let's make them hold. Make them hold uh, shield and then we do down B. Oh, uh, whoops. Well, I'm going to try that one more time. Oh, that's grab. Alright, shield. And right there, instantly Mario's shield is broken. You just back up a little bit, blow some fire on him, get that damage wreck, and then you go up to him and pow. So, yeah. If you if you break a shield at 0%, you could kill him. All you have to do is just space yourself out and just blow fire at them. So you could wreck up that damage and then do that smash attack of yours and kill him. Next character... For my next pick, I chose uh, Pokemon Trainer. Now, Pokemon Trainer, what really makes Pokemon Trainer really nice is that you have three options. You could either choose the, the small guy, who is really good at combos, if, if that's your flavor. Oh, whoops, I messed that up. But, yeah, you get the point. Squirtle is the combo y character. There you go. And if you want to mix things up, you could you could like switch up your game by playing by just switching to a different Pokemon. And what comes out is just some different flavors of uh, characters to play around with. And if you want to go for some power, you got Charizard. Whoops. That backer of his does a lot of damage, I know that for sure. Bam. Here, let me. There we go. That's a zero to death for you guys right there for Charizard. But yeah, what makes this character really fun is all the characters that you can mess around uh, in one game. Whenever you feel like it. So, that's what makes this character uh, in my list. Next up, we have Mario. Now, of course, why I like Mario is 
They're just the fi just all the cool combos that you can do with them. Oh, I didn't get the spike right there, but but yeah, as you can see, Mario's really good at combos. And personally, the the type of combos that he does, I I like a lot. And they're just really satisfying to pull off. Oh, I missed the little thing right there. What also makes Mario really nice is that he has that little cave of his. You should, like if someone does a smash is about to do a smash attack, you just turn them around and be like, "Pap." And yeah, Mario has all these aerials that are really good for comboing, whether it be uh, back air, forward air, leading to down air, to up airs, and then yeah, it's just really easy to combo with this character, and it's really nice. And from the air, you could also start off the combo with Fireball, which is uh, a good option. Here, I'm going to try to get that combo in if I can. Take that, you mean. Alright, I'm just messing around with this character at this point. As you, But, yeah... For me, just mess, just trying to do that itself. You can tell that this character is pretty fun to play with. Anyways, uh, next up on the list, next up we have my man's Incineroar, also one of my mains. Incineroar is really nice. He could, he could do some combos, as you just saw right there. And of course, Incineroar has that insane power with his side special and his like. Uh, smash attacks. Bap. Bap. Bam. And that stuff. And then, when he gets all fired up, that's where the real fun begins. Let's see how much damage I can do now. Get up, boy. 74 damage. Jeez. Like, like, that's a lot of freaking damage from just one attack. Like, jeez. Like, man, that's ridiculous. Here, I'm going to show you this uh, little zero to death. Here, let me try Let me try doing it like this. Oh, shoot. I accidentally did a reversal. I have to, like, jump higher for that aerial. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I missed it. Dang it, ah, oh, you have to like time the thing so you could get that power move in. Of course I messed it up. Alright, going for this one more time. Here we go. Dang it. Oh, he caught the ledge. But, yeah, this, what makes this character really fun is just the amount of power he has. And he does have some combos that you can pull off, but what makes him really fun is the just absolute sheer power he has. Oh, and he, he could also break shield. And this move, this move right here can avoid uh, low, low profile attack. So if, say if Luigi was trying to get back up on the ledge and he does a get up attack, you just do this to avoid it and get him instead. And some other characters have that ability, like King K. Rool and my main Ridley. Next up on the list, we have Byleth. Byleth is a com a really, really good for combos, especially with the up air and the neutral air and the down tilt and forward air and stuff. But at the same time, this character has a lot of kill power within uh, his weapons, like. For example, like this forward air, he's at 35, he's already dead. Bam. Talk about kill power. And of course, a really satisfying move to pull off is the up air. And let me try doing this one little thing I've been practicing earlier. Alright, I landed it, but I didn't spike him with it. Let me try right here. I've been practicing that, but if you do that off stage, um, it's really awesome to pull off. 
But you can also do stuff like this. Bada bada boom, boom, bam, beep, bada bow, bam, boom. Instantly do 63% damage. So yeah, Biolith, really good for combos and kill power. It's absolutely satisfying. Bap. I didn't kill him. Might as well catch him with the down B. Bam! Oh yeah, and also the, the down B uh, breaks shield. And so can uh, down uh, smash. But yeah, you guys you guys can see why this character is a lot of fun. I mean, I mean I'm kind of distracted just playing around with this character. Bap! Ah, I missed it. I'll try it one more time. Bap! Bada bing! Beep boop! Oh shoot! Come on! Ah! Uh, oh well. I'll move on to the next character. What the heck? I'm. Oh oh, oh well. It doesn't matter. <clears throat> Anyways, the next character, Ganondorf. Ganondorf got power, of course, and he has, um, like, power is amazing, a uh, bad recovery, but hey, it's really fun when you just pull out that power while you're just fighting, and Ganondorf can bap. Oh my gosh, wow. <laughs> Yeah, Ganondorf's uh, forward smash can kill really early, no matter who you're fighting. And Ganondorf, he's kind of comboy, like kind of like what I did right there. Oh, 66 damage, pretty nice. Bam, that beep, bam, oh, boop, beep, boop, bam, pow. There's a zero to death for you right there. Here's another one. Yeah, let me try doing it like this. Whoops. Bam. 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 He's dead. And also, Ganondorf Spike, as you just saw right there, is pretty ridiculously powerful. And the side special setups with this command grab is pretty sweet. Because you could do it with a... You like, read it with a down smash. You could like... Read it if someone were to dodge right behind you. Bam. And you could jump and then just patow. Poo. Pam. Oh, you're gonna get back up on the ledge? Explosive kick! Oh yeah. And uh, his explosive kick, which is up tilt, could kill and can also break shield. And of course this move is pretty powerful. Bow! To a slam. Or bow. Boop, bow, bada beam, pow. Dang, boy. Bow, boom, pow, bow. Yeah, you can see why this character is really fun. And, um, I'd say that his combo, um, uh, just depends how well you play around with Ganondorf. And yes, Ganondorf is one of my mains. You gonna get back up here? Bam! Yeah. Ganondorf is number three on the spot. To be honest with you, all these characters are really fun. It's just that I just had of them in random order, but... Uh, yeah. Next up, we have your man's Captain Falcon. Show me your moves, baby. Captain Falcon is just like Ganondorf, but except he has way more combos. Because how fast he is, and his... Just uh, his options. But yes, Captain Falcon, absolutely crazy with combos. Bow, bow, boom, pow! Exploded midair, baby. Ooh, and the knee attack, super deadly. Bow, boom, pop, bow. Oh, I almost had it. Bow, boom, 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 bow, mmm, mmm. So, if you were to main Ganondorf, and you need a fast character, I highly suggest you play some Captain Falcon. Pow! Power is really good, but at the same time, he's super fast. Oops, I killed myself. Bow, boom, boom, bow, boom, bop. 
he was able to recover, no worries. Cause I got him with the Falcon. Pow! Whoops. I missed it. Falco! Pow! You dead fool! Pow! Yeah, you can see why I enjoy this character a lot. Shut up, bang! You pow! Oh well. I'm gonna do a combo that leads into uh, forward air. Or not forward air, side special. Bow, bow, ow, oh. Bow! Spike, baby! But yes. It's just the amazing combos they can do with Captain Falcon. Just are super satisfying and really awesome and fun. Ow! Bow! Oh, dang, I almost had him. Let me try that one more time. You. Bow. Pew. Bow. Pew. Bow, bow. Ow. Oh, I missed it. Bow. Oh, you know what? I think I could, like, do... Bow. Bow. Anyhow. Yeah. Captain Falcon. Definitely my second pick. Bow. Bow. Mm. Missed it. B. Go. Bow. 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 Let's do a back kick for us. Alright, enough of me messing around with Captain Falcon. Alright, before I get to number one, I'd like to uh, give an honorable mention to this, to all, uh, to technically these two characters uh, I did not put, that, that I did not show off in the list. And before I do that, I'd like to do this. Boom. Okay, yeah, there we go. Alright, I'll show the honorable mention. And the honorable mention is, yes, the Ice Climbers. Now, the Ice Climbers, I am not very uh, good at, like, desyncing with them. But once you get into desyncing with these boys, they can do some amazing stuff. And I can only imagine how fun it could be to just mess around while desyncing. Maybe I could do a little bit of desyncing myself. Whoops. Yeah, let me try. Let me try doing something like this. Boom. Bada bop. Boom. Ah. I didn't do it on time. Ah, shoot. Wrong. But I did desync, but like. It was messed up. Du did it again. Wow. Oh, he just did it the other direction. Oh, dang it. I almost had him. Alright, well, I'm enough messing around. Uh, if you see uh, Ice Climber combos while they're... While desyncing you will see what i mean by how fun ridiculously fun it could be when you use the ice climbers to do these insane combos because i mean doing combos are always fun but even though i'm not very good with the ice climbers i consider them to be a really fun character but uh yeah anyways here's to the number one character now 99% of you probably saw this coming but my favorite character to mess around with is ridley now, one, of course, Ridley, I consider as a fun character, well, because I'm really good with Ridley, and Ridley is really good with combos, and, of course, I am really good with doing combos with Ridley, as you can see, and, of course, spiking people with Ridley is absolutely satisfying, whoops, wrong button. As you can see right there, Ridley Spike spikes incredibly early. It's pretty nuts. Bam. And Ridley has all kinds of cool stuff that he could do to set up his game in order to land the killing blows. 
I call this move right here my finisher. And it leads up to a down air spike, which is pretty phenomenal and amazing. And absolutely satisfying. Undescribably satisfying. I don't know how to explain it. But yeah. Out of all the characters in the roster, I am the most combo-y with Ridley, as you can see. Missed it. Got him. Pow! Boom. Bada bow. Boom. Yeah. And you guys can see why I have Ridley as the number one spot. But besides all those combos I could do, doing the side special move and just dragging your opponent all the way to oblivion is absolutely amazing. You could also use side special to read if someone were to back away from you. Or you just do something like this. Bow! You just watch him fly to oblivion. And of course it's always satisfying to get that side special off stage. And get that kill. Oh, he didn't die? Well, let's try again. There we go. How about you take a little bit of my signature move, boy? Take that. Here's a here's one that I've been practicing. Oh, I missed it. You have to like uh, get that reversal back air off stage, and then and then land it with a back air, and it it's like a kill. Oh well, I'm gonna try this once more. Oh well, but yeah, you guys could probably see why. Ridley is an amazing character now of course Ridley has like one of the worst disadvantaged states in the game but do I care no because I I learned to live through disadvantage and regain my advantage and when Ridley is an advantage state it, you can do some incredible things just speak of incredible Show you another skewer setup. But you know what? I'll show you this. Back up a little bit. Front jowl. Jab lock. Oh, I did it! That was awesome. So basically, what I did was I got the character to lie on the ground, and then you do a little jab lock action, and then jump, and then you have to do you have to do a foot stall into a down air, like really fast. I'll try doing it one more time. So you do a jab lock. Alright, you know what? Jab lock. Oh, I missed it. It takes a lot of practice. Like, I've done it many times. It's just it's it's tricky to do because you have to get them you have to do the jab lock really quick and at the same time go off stage and foot stole them in, into a down air. It's really tricky, as you can tell. And you guys can probably see why. I'm a little amazed that I got it on my first try. Back up a little bit, sir. Okay. Jab lock. Dang it. Oh well, but yeah, at least you guys saw me do it on my first try. That was pretty cool. But yeah, if you guys agree with me on this list and you guys have enjoyed the video, thank you for watching. Hey, I just did it. I just slightly differently. Yeah. Tell me guys in the comments if you agree with my list and if I have inspired you to play some of these characters, uh, that would be cool. 
And of course, I inspire, I encourage you and inspire you all to play Ridley, because Ridley is absolutely phenomenal. Almost got him. I'm going to try uh, doing like a side specials uh, finisher off stage. Man, he just jumps too high on that one part. I have to like, I have to like use my, my second jump or something to go after that. Like if you were to do it right there or something. Here, let me try. Boom. Oh, it's... Aha! Caught you lacking, boy! Like, do this. Wait for him to jump. Pow! Pow! That's if, that's if you want to guarantee a side special off stage. You just have to read it as soon as they do that. Pow. Ha, caught you lacking. I'll try that one more time. Ha, caught you lacking, boy. Now you're gonna die. Oh, I killed myself. Let's try that one more time. Cause I messed it up. Oh well, I caught him as he did the jump. But uh, no matter, sir. I went for the suicide right there. But uh, enough messing around with Ridley. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you've enjoyed. I'm pretty sure you guys enjoyed watching it and was interested. And uh, if you guys find yourself uh, having fun or playing around with these characters, let me let me know in the comments and. If I have inspired you to play one of these characters in the roster, um, cool. And, of course, as, as you know, I am obsessed with combos. I mean, I'm pretty sure a lot of people love doing combos and seeing them. I mean, like, what, like, combos is, like, one of the best things to do in the game, of course. But besides combos, getting the skewer reads and the Kill confirms always bring satis satisfaction to the soul. But uh, thank you guys for watching. And uh, oh, whoops. Oh, no, it's uh, the camera. Here, there goes the camera. And whoop, there we go. Oh, oh, there we go. Anyhow, um, my Ridley montage is almost finished up. And uh, stay tuned for that because the Ridley montage is going to be really great. Um,. I'm not going to spoil anything about the montage, but uh, the people who are in my montage are going to get a shout out. And uh, yeah, the montage is going to be really cool. I've been working on it for like a week or so. So yeah, I'm putting a lot of effort into this and it's going to be really great. I'll see you guys later.